Hey everyone, it's Cece from One Green Pea, and I want to talk to you today about what you need in your plant care toolkit. Whether you're a seasoned plant parent or you're new to the game, there are certain things that you absolutely must have and then there are other items that um, just make your plant care more fun and more efficient. So, starting at the very basic, uh, obviously you need a plant and you need a pot. You also need some type of soil. Now, um, there are a zillion different types of soil and amendments you can add to the soil, and it gets to be really fun to kind of do the mad scientist and add different things, but that's further down the road. To get started, you really just need two different types of soil, either basic garden variety uh, potting mix. I like an organic mix, and um, you also need a cactus succulent type of mix. The second type of mix is um, a little bit more porous, and so it's going to drain faster. Now, just having those two types of soil enables you to mix and match based on what your specific plant needs. So, that, so that, that's all you need there. Now, you also need a way to get water to the plant. I um, have had a lot of different watering cans. This one is my current favorite. One of the things I like best about it is this nice long spout. So that means that I can get right down into um, the soil of the plant. So I'm not pouring water up um, and soaking leaves. Leaves we want to keep dry, roots we want to keep moist. So this one's helpful. Um, all that being said, I am planning to upgrade this um, watering can to a bigger size because I have some pretty big floor plants, um, larger plants that take virtually an entire watering can full of water. So I want to get a slightly bigger one. Okay, those are the basics. Now what else do we need? I uh, recently found this tray at a thrift store. I love it. I'm doing a lot more of my plant care now indoors as we're getting into autumn and winter here in the Northern Hemisphere, and this enables me to keep the soil and the uh, water and that sort of thing contained and off of my floors. Another uh, useful implement is a bucket. So a bucket can be helpful when I'm repotting a plant, taking the soil out, or I can also use the bucket. I can run out to my shed and get um, just a bucket full of soil and not have to lug my whole um, bag of soil inside. So those are helpful. Okay, what else is in here? Scoops. I have found um, these scoops to be eternally useful. So the bigger ones for scooping soil, obviously. And even those little tiny ones um, for when I'm potting a smaller plant and I just need a little bit of soil around the edges, for instance. Another thing that helps with that is a spoon. Most of these things I'm talking about today can be found relatively inexpensively. If you need to spend money on something, I'll let you know. Um, but you know, this is just a cheap old um, thrift store spoon, super useful. Um, again, just um, a kitchen implement that's really useful for your uh, plant needs. For instance, if I wanted to take this plant out of the pot, I could use the prongs around the edge of the plant and loosen the soil and be able to get it out. So this is Good for that. Find another little fork, same thing. Pokers or barbecue skewers. I um, have lots of these and they're useful for a number of things. Number one, for aerating soil. 
So every two to three times you water your plants, you're going to want to aerate the soil so you're helping to maintain the porosity and keep the soil from compacting. And so as you're watering, really useful to go around with um, your skewer and just poke gently into the soil. You don't want to damage the roots, but you want to open up some, um, some holes, some aeration, and then the water is going to filter down to the roots more effectively. I've also used these um, for trailing plants. I have one um, in a pothos plant, and so instead of letting the pothos trail over, I'm treating it up the skewer. So those are handy. Okay, so here's something that um, I wouldn't necessarily go cheap on or buy, um, you know, just anything you find at uh, the thrift store. Um, these are clippers, obviously. These are my favorite. They are by Corona. I will put um, exactly what they are in the show notes. Uh, but they're sharp, they're easy to sterilize, they're a nice blank. So if I'm doing stem cuttings or uh, leaf cuttings, or I need to remove a diseased leaf, or cut off um, a round tip. These are just absolutely so useful. Now I have a second pair of these that's a little bit more robust, but um, the truth of the matter is I can't find them. So I have used them and left them somewhere. Um, so I will be on the hunt for those, but uh, these Corona, um, Clippers by Corona, fabulous. Okay. Those are some of the basics. Here's some, uh, maybe a little extra types of things you might be interested in. I have been using humidifiers all around um, my house to the benefit of my plants. They're good for our skin as well, but as my heaters have come on, the air is drier and the plants are loving the added humidity that these small little um, humidifiers are added. So those are good. Okay, this is a moisture meter. This one is kind of fancy. It actually measures moisture and light and pH. Um, I find the moisture aspect of it most helpful because you can hook it into your plant um, and it gives you a reading and tells you uh, right here on the dial whether or not the soil is dry, moist, or wet. So before you water something that maybe doesn't need to be watered, really helpful to test the soil. So that is All right, so as you get further and deeper into uh, plant parenthood, you're going to want to propagate your plants. Like it's an addiction, we all do it. I have something propagating constantly. And so something really useful, obviously, you're going to want your clippers, but um, I have a variety of jars that I'm constantly using for propagating. The simplest method of propagation is in water, and I really like that because you can see the roots develop. So just have, you know, you can have a fancier, prettier vase, or just ball jars, or, um, you know, your salsa jar that you've emptied out. Anything um, can be very useful. In addition to all of the implements and tools, you're going to need to have a plant first aid kit. And here are the items that I keep on hand that will handle pretty much any of the um, insects or infestations or diseases that your houseplants are going to commonly encounter. Okay, starting at the most basic thing um, is a fertilizer. You're going to want to have a fertilizer on hand. Now again, I'm in the northern hemisphere, so it's turning into fall and then winter, so I'm not currently fertilizing my plants, but I will once again in the spring. So this is my favorite. This is by Espoma Organic Indoor uh, Fertilizer. Again, I'll put um, information in the show notes about that. I won't talk much more about that. Okay, some other things in my first aid kit. This is a neem oil spray, and I just purchased a little container of neem oil, um, uh, organic neem oil off the internet, and then made it up into a spray that I keep on hand. Neem oil is like 
the do everything. It's um, antiviral, antifungal, um, kills bugs, just a general preventive. Preventative. A lot of times when I bring home a new plant, I'll put it in my tub, give it a spray of neem oil, let the neem oil um, um, sort of drip off, dry on the plant, and it's just sort of um, a little preventative issue in case there is something growing in that plant. Again, I'll put my formulas for these things in um, the show notes. So, neem oil spray. Another one that I keep on hand is this insecticidal soap, which virtually is the same sort of thing, can be preventative, but also can be useful for different types of bug infestations. So my insecticidal soap is basically just a few drops of Castile soap and water, and I keep it labeled um, on hand. Again, I'll put that formula in the show notes. Alcohol, really useful for wiping, um, especially for specific bugs um, that you might encounter in your plants, house plants. And then finally, um, this fungicide. I have, as of late, discovered um, several of my plants with a bit of um, fungus issues. And so, um, on the recommendation of a wonderful Instagram plant guru, I um, purchased this and it's great. Again, I put the plant in my tub, spray it down, let it drip off, and um, usually you repeat that two or three times a couple days apart, and so far it's been super effective. So that is my very basic um, first aid kit for my plates. I hope that this has been helpful to you. These are some of the tools and implements that I use in my plant care journey and that I found to be helpful. So if you liked this information, like this video, give it a thumbs up for me, please, and um, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or um, tips or recommendations, or perhaps there's some other tool that you absolutely love and want to recommend to um, everyone, then put that in the comments and I'll share those as well. Until next time, keep planting, keep growing.